Hello guys and welcome to Locking Project. Today is a big day because finally we have a solution of how to edit the navigation buttons on the Moto Z and Moto Z Force without root. So let's get it on. Okay guys, so it doesn't really matter if you have the regular Moto Z or the Moto Z Force over here. If your device is not rooted, I've got a solution of how to modify the software buttons. And if you still haven't, please subscribe to my channel because today is your lucky day. So check this out. There's a Moto Z that I have over here. I've already customized the buttons. As you can see, they're closer to each other. And the back button is on the right hand side where I want it to be because I'm right handed and it's easier for me to reach this button. As you can see on this one over here we've got the standard layout where the back button is here. It's a little bit hard for me to reach this button here so today I'm gonna teach you how to modify that without any root. So first of all let me start with that root checker. As you can see I've got no root installed on this device. And before we start, you got to make sure that you're running Android 7.0. It doesn't work on 6.0 or any Marshmallow updates. So before we start, you make sure you've got all the necessary equipment, which is micro USB to USB-C type adapter or a USB-C type cable, which I'm going to link in the description down below because Motorola didn't provide any of this initially in the box. So let's say you've got the cable, you've got internet connection and you've got basic knowledge of Android. What you got to do is enable developer options, how to do that, go to about phone, go to build number, tap on it seven times, come back to developer options, from here, USB debugging, press OK and now you want to go to the Play Store and download this application custom navigation bar is a free app it's meant to work for Nexus and Sony devices nobody has tested it on Motorola before except me of course so open up the application press get started over here and you've got two options first option is if you have root you can do this over your phone but I guess if you already have root then you have already customized whatever you like in your phone the purpose of this video is to show how to customize your phone without losing your warranty so you gotta um, need your computer now basically copy a command it's it's quite a huge and complicated command to um, to, to type it on your keyboard so I'm gonna just uh, link it in the description down below just copy that and uh, let's see what you gotta do on your computer now let me just clear up my <laughs> desktop over here you're gonna need a good old computer oh yes plug in your phone Wait for it one second, allow USB debugging, press always allow, OK. From now on, leave the phone on the side, go to start menu, run, CMD, I hope that you have already installed ADB, if you haven't, well, what are you waiting for? So now put ADB devices, just to make sure your phone is recognized, as you can see over here, it is recognized, so now put ADB shell enter if you see this dollar over here everything is going according to plan now right mouse click paste this long command over here it's not worth you know typing it on your uh, computer uh, i'm gonna link it in the description just copy that paste it here enter now let's come back to your application press get started yes we did copy command now safety first let put start if you see this arrow over here basically you are good to go now press finish open up the application once again get started copy command okay finish that's it that's it and now you're inside the application navigation bar layout normal check this out left leaning right leaning compact tablet I keep it on compact but now 
if you want to reorganize these buttons over here, what you got to do is you have to become a better tester of this application. Also, there is a donation package as well. Just to support the developer, it costs only 89p, that's less than a dollar. So I highly recommend buy the pro version and become a developer. How to become a developer? Well, you go back to this screen over here. Let me see. Become a better tester. Press I mean join better signing in process. In a few minutes you'll be added to the better program. Blah blah blah. Basically that's it. Now press open once again. Close everything you've got open. Come back to the Play Store. Come back to your installed applications. Custom navigation by you already got update. Press the update. Installing, that's it. Open it up over here. And now, now check this out. When you press navigation button, you've got inverted. That's what you need. It inverts the buttons straight away without any hassle. So basically, that's 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 what you want to do. Also, you've got teams. At the moment, you've got only the default team and the pixel team but you have to buy the pro version as i said i i really recommend that the developers said that they're gonna add quite a lot more teams later on so basically that's about it guys i mean no root no modifications to the system and you keep your warranty and now you're a happy camper if you want me to be a happy camper please subscribe to my channel and basically that's about it guys, if you watched the whole video up until now, you really deserve the pro tip I'm going to give you right now. As you can see, I've got the US version of the Moto Z over here and I've got the battery percentage. And naturally, when you go to battery over here, you've got show battery percentage in status bar. Is that correct? Yes, it is. If you have the European version of the Moto Z, you've got no percentage over here. So, when you go to battery... You don't have this option over here to enable the percentage. So what you want to do is go over here, hold this button for a couple of seconds, keep holding it. Congrats, System UI Tuner has been added to settings. Now, you want to go to System UI Tuner. Yes, I got it. Status bar, battery. Show percentage when charging or oh, always show percentage. And there you have it guys. It's a little bit not very nice but it says 49% inside the battery itself. So yeah, thank you very much for watching again guys. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> See you later. And uh, by the way, very soon, very soon the review is coming up. Oh, look at these smudges. It wasn't me. <laughs> See you later, guys.